freedom isn't free. Now there's a hefty fucking fate. A while back I got this really neat game out of the Steam $2 bin, Exception. Rather than directly controlling an avatar that completes tasks and defeats AI, your job is to script your own AI to complete challenges. They start out very simple, but they keep introducing new types of obstacles along with the scripting tools needed to overcome them. You'll often hit progression walls where you don't know what you need to change in the scripting to get your avatar to overcome this new challenge. You'll often watch the same replay over and over again trying to figure out what you can do differently. We'll come back to this. Okay, let's hit the bad news first. That experience you have of making free will choices throughout your day? It's an illusion. But that illusion is part of a critical process. This process is where free will, or the closest thing we have to it, hides. Let's talk about determinism and neurology for a second. Determinism is the idea that the universe is mechanistic, that if you had enough information about the current state of the universe and unlimited processing power, you could, with 100% accuracy, predict every event until the heat death of the universe. This is a well-established model and I agree with it. There are some people very invested in the idea that we have the kind of free will that we experience. You can't really fault them for it. The way out? Quantum physics! There's a very neat iPhone app called Universe Splitter, and as hyperbolic as it sounds, that's what it can do. Say you had a big life decision, and you can't decide which way to go. You enter both options into the app, and commit to follow through with whichever option is chosen. When your confirmation is received at the lab, they fire a particle through a detector. It'll measure it as either spin up or spin down, and give a perfect 50-50 outcome. According to the Many Worlds interpretation, both outcomes occur every time, but being human we can only experience one universe at a time. The app doesn't tell you what you should do, it just informs you which universe you landed in. The moment-to-moment -moment free will advocates only seem interested in finding things that support what they already believe, essentially hunting for structures in the brain that would allow us to consciously split the universe. To be clear, I find myself in a deterministic universe and I don't think we have anything like the kind of conscious free will we experience. The elephant and rider analogy is very helpful when explaining my interpretation of free will. In the analogy, the elephant is our unconscious emotional side, and the rider is our self-aware intellectual side. Almost all of your decision making is done by the elephant, but the rider has the experience of making those choices. This is supported by research showing that in many situations, we start taking actions before areas of the brain associated with awareness react. But we still have the experience of making the choice. I believe that the rider has a rider, and that rider thinks he's doing everything. But in reality, he can do absolutely nothing. And this is how it has to be. Like the free will advocates, I also believe the brain is capable of splitting the universe, but only during our nightly updates where the story we tell ourselves, about ourselves, makes all the difference in how effectively we update our code for negotiating with reality. In the game exception, you have a read-only mode, where you watch the sequence play out, and a write mode, where you're modifying the script. Humans are very similar, except when we're awake, we're in read-only mode, but our write mode can only occur when we're unconscious. In both scenarios, it's not helpful to blame your lack of success on things that are beyond your control. This is typically just a way of avoiding the pain of accepting responsibility for failure. Briefly on biology. I think that the neurological arms race in human evolution was caused by nature finding a way to increase social adaptability by literally splitting the universe. If intent could be ascribed to genes, it would be to propagate as widely as possible. I can't think of a more effective way of doing so. Free will exists as a self-directed change to our code. To be a more effective human being, become a better person, to turn yourself from a loser into a winner. The bad news is that free will isn't free. Like everything else, there's a price to be paid. The pain of genuinely owning your shortcomings from within your own inner monologue is your currency as no one will ever be in short supply of uh, shortcomings 
we have, in essence, unlimited free will. Freedom cost a buck oh five.